Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a glowing effect on emissive materials using a bloom post effect in Rhino 7. We're going to be learning how to apply this post effect to a render in Rhino 7 to give emissive materials this glowing halo effect as you can see in this preview here. We're going to be using the scene I set up in the previous video on emissive materials and I've applied three emissive materials to these three objects in the scene here as you can see on the right hand side there. Now we're going to render this out as usual, just using the render preview. And you can now see that that render is now loading up in this screen here. When you have emissive materials like this, it can start quite noisy, so that would take a while to get smoother and smoother. Now, while this is rendering, we can apply what's called a post effect on top to essentially affect the render after it has been rendered out. This can be found under the post effects tab on the left here and if you can't see this menu this can be found in the view and the effects panel here. This has to be ticked on for this post effects to be visible. Now in order to add a post effect in we're going to click the plus icon here and once that loads up we're going to open up the bloom post effect here which will apply a bloom effect on top of the objects in my scene. Now you can see already as I've applied that on, what I'll do is I'm going to stop the render so it goes a bit faster in the background. But what this has done is it's given this kind of glowing feathered edge around the objects that are emitting light in the scene. Now this comes with a series of parameters. You can affect the brightness threshold, you can affect the radius of that bloom, which will widen or soften the area of that glow the intensity, which is obviously the kind of brightness of this, and the threshold, which will kind of limit or show which objects will be affected by the bloom and which won't. The higher that threshold is, only the objects that are emitting light are affected, and the lower that is, the rest of the scene you can see is kind of getting affected by that bloom as well. So those are the main parameters with this bloom post effect. I'd make sure you don't use it too much, keep the radius quite low so you get this nice halo and I usually keep the intensity quite low there. So it's just getting this nice kind of artificial glow around those lights there. And once you've applied it, what you can do is if you aren't happy with the render or want to re-render it, when you close down your window it will ask you if you want to save the image. I'm going to say no in this case, but it asks you if you'd also like to save the post effect. And if you click yes, what that would do is next time you render out that image it will automatically apply the post effect onto the image for you so you don't have to reset it and you'll see the settings there are already set to the previous settings I had set up with the last render. So it's quite a useful thing to do is to save the post effect to the window so every time you render out the image it's automatically applied for you there. So it was a very quick tutorial on how to add a glowing effect to emissive materials using the Bloom post effect in Rhino 7. Thank you for watching.